homeless crisis continues to grow across Oahu. And as KITV Forest Kristen Concilio reports, one community in the Barbers Point area says it feels especially targeted by authorities. Dozens of homeless people living here in the old Barbers Point airstrip were recently displaced and say they have no place to go. George Bailey says he and his companions live deep in a wooded area filled with overgrown kiave trees for more than a year unbothered. We just want to see a place to be so that they don't bother us anymore, you know. And Our you place that we can call a home, yeah. Hidden away in Kalailoa, the homeless community tapped into a main power line to get electricity and into their neighbor's water system and even had a portable potty. But they eventually caught the eye of authorities who recently demolished the encampment. So maybe some people there was there because of the houseless crisis, but some of them was doing a chop shop, doing their own business and having their own illegal empire. Fire, 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 shooting, fighting, Everything you could think of that was happening in there was just getting out of control. But for many, it's also a humanity issue. Everyone falls upon hard times, but there should be a different solution. Obviously, these homeless people can't afford homes. They've all have gone through something traumatic in their lives and then losing what they were able to accumulate for themselves, have it destroyed, it creates not only instability in them, but, you know, they have nothing. Fawn Bailey, the former wife of George, who asked not to be on camera, says she has other family members, including her son, living on the streets. She hopes the state can come up with land for the homeless to use as a safe haven. Well, there's many pieces of property here in Oahu. There are, are open bunkers. There are buildings on Hawaiian homelands. There's pieces of the mountain that I feel they should be giving to be able to have a safe place, have a safe haven, and have resources be given to them to help them in their situations, to get them back on path. But Favela says there are already options available. The problem with a lot of them out there that is living in these kinds of encampment, they don't want to follow rules. I would love to give one piece of land for anybody to go and, and stay there until they can find shelter, but in the reality of it all, we don't have that. He says the HONU program is one of them. That's coming to Eva Beach in November. Kristen Concilio, KITV4, Island News.